Hi, my name is Tim Smith, and this is a recording to talk about a shell script I created for my Synology NAS that synchronizes the DHCP uh, assignments with DNS server. So I think first it would make sense to explain why this w script was needed. In uh, normally, and I s normally is in quotes because this uh, is what my experience has been with most uh, consumer routers. Uh, when you use any normal router and uh, use DHCP and DNS there, what happens is once a client registers a um, an address, they get an address from the DHCP server, They that name of that machine gets registered with DNS. And what that lets you do is ping that machine name. So if I have a machine named uh, XYZ and I connect it to my network and it gets an IP address, then I can then ping XYZ from another machine. It's very handy to be able to do this, but uh, the problem is the Synology NAS, the software, does not support that registration. The DHCP server does not communicate at all with the DNS server. So I created a shell script that will uh, read the DHCP settings and will um, update the DNS. So let's see how this works. First, there are two files that the script uses. It's, um, these are located under etc dhcpd. Okay? Um, these two files, if I uh, cat them, uh, let's cat this. So this is the leases. These are the requests that have been made and um, we're seeing four different machines and uh, you'll see my PBX UCM 6102 so the PBX is register and then um, you'll also see where I've done static registration so I've said for specific machines I want to give specific uh, IP addresses so I've only got three machines here registered the UCM, a router, and office printer but up here you'll also see I've got an office machine registered so these are all at, at different IP addresses so what I want is the DNS resolution to uh, if I ping any of these names here uh, anything in my static list or in my uh, any leases any machines that have been connected uh, and dynamically given an IP address I want to be able to ping that name and have it resolved to that IP address there's also an ability to reverse lookup. If I use an IP address and do a, a reverse lookup on it, then I should be able to get the uh, original uh, name. Before we run the script, we'll need to set up our uh, DNS server and DHCP server. Um, I have not done, uh, I'm not going to show you setting up the DHCP, but I'll show you basically what I did with the DNS. DNS, it requires that you uh, decide what your domain name is going to be. So home.lan, that's going to be what uh, all my machines are appended, what, what's appended on that. So I'll be able to ping office.home.lan, and right now it's not resolving. So I created these two uh, zones. I created a master zone. I created a forward and a reverse. So each of these, one, this one's forward, uh, this one's reverse. If you, once you've set that up, then you can look at the, oh, wrong one, if I can look at the resource records, you'll see that I created um, uh, an NS and an A. Uh, I create those two and the, uh, that's all that's required. You need those two. I also created these two just so I could show you how uh, CNAME is reserved. So if I ping pbx.home.lan, even though there's not a machine named that, I can say uh, ping pbx.home.lan. It will resolve to this UCM6102. And uh, you can see here it resolved to UCM6102 and then resolve to an IP address. The reason I wanted to show that is that's a nice little feature of the uh, script. It will retain any, it will retain this record, this record, and this record, and all the other A records are uh, regenerated. Um, okay, so that's, uh, that's the uh, forward. Let's look at the reverse. The reverse records, I've only got the two, um, and these are kind of the basic ones you need to have uh, that point to the NS homeland. And if I've got this, 
you know, not exactly correct, uh, forgive me, uh, it works in my environment, so I don't have to worry about it. Okay, so uh, my DNS server is set up. I've got my forward and my reverse master uh, configured. And now I'm ready to um, set up my script. Uh, what I've done, done, I've logged in as admin. I don't want, um, I don't want anyone, just anyone, to be able to execute the script. This is modifying my files. Uh, I, I wanted to have a little bit uh, more security on it. So what I did is in my homes, I, uh, my home for uh, admin, I created a scripts folder, and under scripts, I created DNS backups. And uh, that is going to have a backup of the DNS file uh, every day. It'll, it will have a backup. So now I need to upload my file. Uh, actually, let's uh, let's talk about the script before I upload it. Let's take a look at it. The script is fairly straightforward. It's documented, uh, commented, and it should be easy enough to understand for anyone that's uh, that's messing with the DNS server. Uh, you don't have to do much with this. All you need to do is modify these settings here. Tell it what your network name is. So if you, it's not Homeland, um, change that. Your forward master file is, uh, is going to be your network name. And then your uh, reverse master file, are, that's going to be your um, reverse master file. Well, yeah. OK, and finally, where do you want to back up your DNS files? So notice that I'm putting this under Homes Admin because I'm launching this from my admin. Um, this is something I'm going to do later. I'd like for it to uh, check everything and say, oh, you're missing a file, uh, you're, I don't have rights. So I'll do that eventually and hopefully also implement um, an integration with Synology so it will, the DSM, so it will send notifications up if there's a problem. Um, I've created uh, a backup. This is the backup of it's copying the, the uh, forward and reverse masters into the backup location. I've got two functions. And these work the same whether I'm doing forward or reverse. The first is it prints the header of the DNS file. And the way I implemented this, it prints everything that's in the, uh, the master file except for pointer or uh, address, PTR or A records. And it will. The only exceptions to that is if it finds an ns, uh, so ns.home.land. If it finds that, then it's going to print the record because those are important. So if it's a an A or a PTR record for an ns, it's going to retain that. But everything else it discards, um, and then it keeps the the uh, the start of your um, your DNS file. So uh, this logic appears to work pretty well. The next thing I do is I read the DHCP, the leases and the logs file. And what I'm doing is I'm looking for this name and the IP address. So in the leases, it's located, it's parsed a little bit differently. And I also have to look for there's sometimes some, um, some uh, um, registrations here that are not machine names. So I. I don't include those. So if it's uh, the name of an adapter, for example, then I, I don't print that. I don't need to use that in the DNS. So I, uh, I read the D DHCP static assignment and the dynamic assignment, the log, and uh, then I'll either print out pointer or A records. And then here's where I call those two functions. I call it for the forward master, and I create a dot new file and I'm using the backup path as a temporary location since I should be able to write there and then uh, I do the same thing here for the reverse master and the difference is I'm I'm telling it to uh, print out PTR records instead of a records for the DHCP and then the last thing that I do is copy the the generated files back over so I um, I get the owner and the uh, mode set for the files, and then I move them back into the zone path. So that's an explanation of the shell script.
there's one more thing that you should know about the shell script. If you'll notice down here at the bottom, you should be able to see this is a Unix file. Uh, I'm using Ultra Edit. If you're using another editor and you create the file and it's in a DOS format or a Windows format, that's using carriage return line feed and Linux does not like that. So the, um, the Synology NAS will not execute a script if it's not in the Unix format, which is, a, I believe, a line feed, not a carriage return line feed delimited file. All right, let's upload this file. All right, I'm in my admin's home scripts. Remember, I'm logged in as admin. So I'm going to upload. And I'm going to upload this script. And there's the script is uploaded. And what you can do is open this up in the text editor. And if you really want to be safe, you can, um, you could copy paste. So for example, I could go back to ultra edit. I could copy paste this and I believe it is going to regardless of uh, whether I was copying it from a DOS text file or not it will save it out as uh, Linux so I'm going to save okay so now this should be definitely in the right format and uh, I'm ready to execute this so let's schedule it first thing I want to do is get the I'm going to look at the properties. So I right click properties and I want to get this location. I'm going to get the complete file name. All right, so now let's register the task. So I'll, I went into control panel. I look at the task scheduler. I create a user defined script. I'm going to run this as admin. Should be able to run it as admin or root. I, I want to use the least rights I can. And I'm going to call this uh, update DNS with DHCP registrations. Paste the name here in the user defined script. And before we run it, let's test it. Test. So I'm going to ping office.home.land. So that machine is not registered in DNS. So I know that is, is not registered right now. So now let's go and kick this off. I'm going to say run. You want to run it? Yes. And now let's ping home office.home.land and now it resolves. And we can also do a, uh, a look up and we can see that the NS lookup worked. Now if you have any problems with the DNS server picking this up, you might need to bounce that. So I'm going to go into the package center, look at DNS server, and stop it. And then uh, run it again. So that's forcing it to reread the configuration. That's something that I still need to work on to make sure that it um, that the DNS server picks that up every single time. So if the script that you see is not exactly this script uh, that you saw here in the video, uh, it's probably down at the end. Uh, I've used a command to uh, refresh the DNS server. So I hope you guys are able to use my uh, my script. It's uh, um, pretty useful. I'm, I've been using it now for a week and uh, it's, it's just so much nicer. Uh, now I can ping all my machines. I don't have to maintain host files. I don't have to manually edit the DNS server. So I'm pretty happy with it. I hope you are too. Thanks. And uh, if you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below.